Hello! Uh, before the video starts, I just need to do a little intro here. It's going to be a little bit long, but just stick with me for a second because I didn't explain myself uh, very well last time, uh, or as in depth last time. The video you're about to see uh, was originally recorded and uploaded to Vimeo on December 8th, 2018. Basically, I have done every single episode of the Inbetweener series. I finished the series. Uh, all the rest of the episodes are over on my Daily Motion, which is a link to is in the description. Um, basically, um, I finished the show. And when I tried to upload the show to YouTube about a year and a half ago, I wasn't able to because I guess the copyright was different at the time. But I guess stuff has changed and now I'm able to. So that's why I'm going to start putting the entire show up on uh, YouTube. If you want to see, if you can't wait, you want to see the rest of the episodes, they're all on Daily Motion. But periodically, twice a month, I'll be putting this show on YouTube. So next month, I'll put three and four and five and six, seven and eight. You know how it works. Um, so twice a month, I'll be putting this show back on YouTube going forward. Uh, so, yeah, if, if you notice any changes, whether it's just in anything, uh, and to be honest, I don't even know the things I said in this video, if I'm being perfectly honest, this was recorded like a year and a half ago, so literally uh, around there, so December 2018. So, like, it was weird, because some people were quoting me in the comment section of the first one I put on YouTube, uh, and I, I didn't even know the context, because I don't even remember what I said. So I have no clue what I said in this, <laughs> to be honest with you. I have absolutely no clue. I haven't watched it back. I don't usually watch my own stuff. The only time I watch it is when I'm editing it. Um, so, and this is already edited, so I don't know if I even need to watch this back in editing. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you enjoy my second reaction to the Inbetweeners. Hello Vimeo, my name is Taff316 and welcome back to another reaction video. Today it is going to be episode 2 of the Inbetweeners. I already know this is going to go on Vimeo because if I put it on YouTube it's going to be, get blocked. Uh, so you guys requested this after you guys really liked the first one. Uh, it got on Vimeo I think like 2400 views, which for Vimeo I'd say it's pretty good viewership. I'd say it actually think it got more views than, uh, at, at the time it actually had more views uh, than the video telling you it was on Vimeo, so that's pretty good. But yeah, I really like the first episode, so we're going to react to the second episode, so let's get into it. Alright, it's time. Episode 2. No time like the pleasant? No time like the pleasant? Like the pleasant, huh? The present. Let's do it. God damn it. The local park, where people come to play football, hang out with their friends, and most importantly, let their dogs shit. <laughs> it's not a cool place, admittedly. I'm guessing it's a little bit in the future. Girls. And if anything is worth braving this dog shit minefield for, it's staring at girls. You lot are so gay. Why aren't we playing football? Chasing men around a field with your top off. What could be more gay than that? <laughs> you? Brilliant. Anyway, we're playing frisbee because girls can join in. Trust me. Smart. Girls love this. Do they? All the colleagues love this. You're just scared to play football in case Donovan joins in and breaks your legs. Whoa! Yeah, well, yeah. That's not true. Oh no, it's true. Oh my god. Check out a Jugosaurus Rex. Oh my god. The Shit. music. And it's Carly. Perfect. Watch this. Carly! Carly! Oh my god. Cut. It's gonna hit her in the face, isn't it? Oh! Oh my god, I'm sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, I'm really, really sorry. I'm really, really, really sorry. Oh, no. 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 So, as I say, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. It's fine. You've apologized about 30 times. Come on. I'm just gonna get my frisbee. Oh, my god. <laughs> And so, in what I can only describe as an attack of frisbee rage, once again, oh my we God. found ourselves running from Donovan. That's so fucked uh, up. Not really. Oh, what's up? Well, think back, Neil. Uh, last time you saw us, before you lagged it, a frisbee was heading towards a disabled girl's face. Yeah. Oh, did it hit her in the face? Then? It did. Bingo. Was the girl in a wheelchair all right? No, I don't want to talk about it. I've lost a perfectly good frisbee <laughs> Arabic pro. Is the gayest sentence ever. <laughs> well, that's it. Can't bunk tomorrow now. Oh, why? Oh, because it's bad karma, isn't it? Fritless plastic. Well, it could be a sign. A sign that you've shit your pants. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm heading home. To wank over your mum's bras? Uh, well, actually, my mum. Probably not. Oh, good. Can I have them then? No, but you can have, um, that. And that. 
See you tomorrow. See ya. <laughs> I'd only been in state education a month, and yet the oh, month, okay, found myself ready to break the law. Or in the future we are. Okay, it was the truancy law, but it was still the worst thing I'd ever done. Hello, William. Hello, Mrs. Cooper. Is Simon in? Yes. Yes, he ran away in the middle of the night. Simon! Yes. All right, Will, come in. Why aren't you in uniform? We're very sorry, Mrs. Cooper. It was Jay's no, we're idea. We're really sorry. We forgot to tell you it was a non-uniform day. No, it's not. Bye. Yes, it is. For years 12 and 13. It is, you little shit! Right, so it's a year 12 non-uniform day. For Christ's sake, Simon, you're 17 now and I don't want to play these stupid games. It's a bloody non-uniform day, all right? I don't believe you. Will? Oh, uh, no, Will we'll yes, can't... it's a non-uniform day. Aye, he did it! See? Fine. I was about Fine. to say Will can't lie, but he but did if it. If you've lied to me, I won't be angry. I will be really, really disappointed. Classic white mom answer. Uh, how stupid is she that she totally believes? <laughs> oh, Sorry, did you see the way I just lied to her? I totally did it. We're bunking off. Who are you calling? School? I'll just say we're in, won't we, in today? <laughs> no, really, who are you calling? Don't shit your pants. I'm only in the school section, not fucking MI5. Oh, hello, this is Mrs. Cooper. Simon's mother, year 12. Simon and his friend, Woody McKenzie, have come down with food poisoning. Must have been from the chicken. You put on your mum's voice. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Cooper. Now you say your son is ill. Yes? Oh, well, Mr. Gilbert, the head of six is just here. Um, I'll pass him over. Hold on one second. Oh, no, there's really no need. Look, if we hurry, we can still make it in time for English. Hello? Hello, this is Mrs. Cooper. Simon and his friend, Woody McKenzie, have come down with food poisoning. Mrs. Cooper? Yeah? What exactly is wrong with Simon? Food poisoning. Okay, Simon. That's enough. I know you're bullshitting me. I think you better get into school. Cheers on the bus, God bless! I get into Well, that was fucking dreadful. Yeah, that wasn't good, Simon. I think he bought it, though. No, he In didn't. In what way did he buy it? I think he thought that was my mum. He really didn't! So, with our terrible alibi in place, phase two of the plan was how to get some booze. You look like you're on day release. They'll never serve you. Ooh, what about this one? No, not one of his suits. You'll go mental if he finds out. Shirts. Not the suit. Yes! Not the suit. And so in Simon's dad's sit. suit, and looking a bit like a Hasidic Jew, we <laughs> headed for the off-license. What, what are you wearing? The suit's my dad's. He insisted. The hat's his, though. What a bellend. <laughs> I'm just an adult man, stuffing up on booze. This'll work. Ten pounds each, please. It's not gonna work. It didn't work in the well, first episode. Yours, it's not it? gonna work now. Oh. What? Nothing. Unlike those morons, I knew the key to getting served was confidence. Do you? Confidence, huh? Good day. Sorry? Confidence did well in the first episode. Good day. Oh. Hello. Shut up. Oh, shit. What? Nothing. It's Carly's mum, isn't it? Oi! Jay, please don't you recognise me. He wants to suck your Carly's tits! <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> The key is to let the shop owner know who's in control. Oh my god. It's like god. a Jedi mind trick. I am an adult. You will serve me. It's not gonna oh, work. Sorry. Yes. I am a man who has recently bought a house in the local area. And yeah? I've a housewarming party. Uh -huh. in which I'll be inviting a lot of the local adults. Yeah. To, uh, hence the crisps. To your housewarming party. And, uh, I'll also probably need some, um, alcohol as well. Um, as well as the crisps, etc. Right, what sort of thing are you looking for? Some beef eater gin. Okay, so uh, how about two bottles? Excellent. He's gonna ask to see your ID. Nice, so we're not made of money. And I'll have some extra strong mints for those who are drink driving. Right. Comes to £29.50. Anything else? What's on special? I'll give you a bottle of Drambuie for a tenner if you're paying her out of the shop in five seconds. Done. My good man. I shall invite you to the party. <laughs> what did it work? Mission accomplished. Oh my Thanks god. Just something to soak up the alcohol. Crisps? Where's a beer? Have you spent all our money on fancy fucking crisps? Yes! You twat. What the fuck's this? Drambuie? And what's Drambuie? It's a sort of whiskey based liqueur. And what's a liqueur? It's what benders drink. Well, why have we got that then? Because we're heading back to yours and it's your dad's favourite drink. Oh, oh, my dad's not Ben. He is a bit, though. He's fucking not. Right, let's look at the evidence. One, your mum left him because he loves cock. That's not true. Look, she was in a difficult place. 
in bed with a bender. Your dad, who is a bender. Two, he wears tight denim shorts to do the gardening. And the only night he goes out all week is Wednesday, and that's to play badminton. <laughs> <laughs> right, my dad's not bent because he's got hundreds of porn mags at home and it's all straight. All straight? Some lesbian. Well, I think we should go and have a look at it in that case. Well, fine, come on in. This should be good. Oh, that's yeah, that's going to be good. Be good. Oh. <laughs> they must be around here somewhere. I don't know where they could have gone. Maybe he swapped them for an ABBA box set. No, he probably shoved them up his ass. <laughs> Drink. Oh my god. One of them's what gonna barf by the end of this. I'm do, calling it right now. Fucking well, please. One of them's gonna barf by the end of this. We could get hold of some birds. Yeah, let's get some girls. Great. Where are all the girls? At school. Well, we'll wait for them to get out then. So we're not gonna do anything to. Yeah, I'm not gonna come to your place. School, then. We can't fucking do this at school. Drink. Hello, Mrs. Cooper. Sorry to bother you at work. This is Mr. Gilbert, Simon's head of six. Uh -oh. You know, your mum is so fit, Will. I reckon she could be a prostitute. Thanks. Have you wanked over <laughs> Will's mum? No. Ah. Not yet. Please don't have a wank over my mum. <laughs> I can't promise that, I'm afraid. Yes, hello. Is that Mrs. You've got a wank over Will's mom. mother. Right, can I just check something with you, please? When we go away with the caravan club, there's this bird and her sister who I've shagged for about two years. Sometimes I get them to shit themselves while I watch. Sorry, did you say you go on holiday in a caravan? With the caravan club. In a caravan, like a jippo. <laughs> if my mum told me we were going caravanning, <laughs> I'd call Childline. <laughs> Shows how much you know, because it's a sense of freedom that you don't get with other holidays. It's a mm. sense of shitting in a bucket in a cupboard you don't get with other holidays. <laughs> in England, with your parents. Actually, it's a well-known fact that the caravan club is like a sex club all over Europe, which is why I've lost my cherry, and none of you sad acts have. Listen, I could have got like He's a virgin. No, I'm calling it. Yeah, I could, actually. I want to lose it with someone I love. Oh, what? Like Keep Carly? Lying. Maybe I do love Carly. Maybe you she's do. gorgeous, she's smart, she's amazing. Probably worth mentioning to her then, mate. Is this feel good feel. by fucking... Yeah, why not mention it? Worse that can happen, you Crap, what they call gorillas Best in the background? Happen, you get stinky fingers! You really are one of the most disgusting humans I've ever met. Oh, look out! It is. He's had a few drinks and now he thinks he's hard. I am hard. So all this being scared of <laughs> teachers and brown-nosing everyone's parents is just an act, is it? I don't brown-nose anyone. You do a bit. Good manners cost nothing. A good shag costs nothing. A good shag with Carly. Hey, Carly's bad here on your face. On your face. Carly's bad here on your face. I keep catching the some point. Oh, boy. Oh, hang on. Stop on the And your belly. Carly's bad here on your face. On your face. Oh, oh boy. What the hell is going on? Oh, this place smells like a brewery. Not a nice one. Jay, there is always trouble when you're around, but, Will, I'm especially surprised at you. I'm so sorry, Steve. Oh, piss off. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't talk to me like that in my own house. Oh, I'm so sorry. My manners. Piss off, please. I've had enough of your lip. Oh, you'd like my lip, wouldn't you? Right round your bell end. if Mr <laughs> Chippy doesn't get there first. What's he going to knock up? A closet for you to hide in, you bumder? <laughs> Oh no! Run! In hindsight, I might have fucking dip. Too far. Amazing! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bumda! Yeah, fair play to you, that was pretty special. Bumda! It's a mixture of Bummer and Bender. I think he'll be alright about it though. He, he, he can take a joke. That's it was a joke. joke. My no, lips was... around your bell end. Yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> I love Carly. I love Carly. Shit, I've got to tell her. What if she feels the same? Oh, no, moments? no, don't do it, Simon. It's about these moments. It's the things you don't do, you regret. It's the kind oh, of no. cavalier philosophy that caused my father to leave my mother. You go for it, <laughs> bumder. And so we headed for Carly's house. Oh, God. I feel a bit stupid doing this. This is fine, isn't it? Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah. You would tell me if I was being a dick. What did you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think writing her surname is particularly important. I mean, it is her drive, but you wouldn't want that to be any Carly-based confusion. Yeah, I reckon if you put a kiss, she'll definitely suck you off. What the fuck? I'm. Oh what? my god. Simon, why are you vandalizing my drive? Um. What's it say? What? You love me. <laughs> Look, I can easily wash it off and we can just pretend it never happened and I could not tell anyone and you could not tell anyone and my. She's gonna tell everybody! Importantly, your mates could not tell anyone. Simon, we've known each other for ages. Why are you doing this now? Um, because he's we're drunk. Dares. Did someone dare you to be the world's biggest sado? Yes. <laughs> so what? You are in love with me? This couldn't have gone any better. Yeah, it's gone fine. Actually, I think this is pretty cool, Simon. Sort of artistic. It's like Banksy or something. Huh? Why don't you what? come over to mine tonight? I'm babysitting for my brother and we can sort this out then, yeah? Really? Yeah, come round about eight. What? I'll be out by then. 
probably best to avoid them till this is washed away. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure this washes away. Whatever. Well, I'll see you later. What? Yes. Incredibly. I think you might be in there. Of course he's in there. She is wet for you, mate. I cannot believe this works. Maybe she was impressed by your artistic side. Nah, bollocks. It's because you're drunk. Do you think so? Yeah. yeah it's because you're wasted. Like Pete Doherty, innit? Girls love it. I think Pete Doherty is on heroin. <laughs> I'm not sure I should do heroin, Jay. Right. Vodka, whiskey and a load of creme de month. When she sees you after this, she'll be frothing at the gash. Oh. Are you sure my dad will Oh, he's gonna barf. Never tell oh, me. no. I think he might, as his whiskey now tastes of apple juice. It'll be worth it. What's that? Fuck off. What you got there? And again, fuck off. You are in such shit. That's a hat trick. Fuck off. Mum knows you bunked off. And also, everyone knows that you love Carly D'Amato. I don't love her, actually. Everyone knows you spaz. You wrote it on the pavement outside her house. <laughs> Even the year 11s are laughing about how sad you are. Yeah? Well, how sad is a date at her house tonight? You're such a sad... No, you're the sad because... Twat! You're such a little fuck shit! <laughs> He's made you look a right knob. <laughs> So when are you going to make the move, then? I don't know. I've got to get the kid brother out of the way first. Well, I could come and look after him for you. Bollocks. I'll take care of the kid while you take care Yo, of him. Oh, yeah. Put Jay and Dorothy oh, again. Business. Mm. <laughs> business. He's totally a virgin. I think I better take Will. For yeah. your funeral. Jay was wrong. It wouldn't be a funeral, but it would be about as much fun as one. Oh, no. Oh, uh, is that the end? Oh, no. Still more. And so that evening, we arrived at the house of the girl Simon had always loved. Oh god. We were drunk. So very drunk. Hi. Hi. Hello there. Oh. Hello, William. Um, you coming in then, Simon? Are you his chaperone? No, it's cool, babe. She's gonna watch the kid whilst we chat. About, you know, our feelings. Okay. <laughs> Best not to call me babes, though. Really? Really. Come on in then. Chris is in there watching TV, Will. Come on, you. Let's get a drink. So Dad went totally ballistic about the driveway. I think you're still invited over for Christmas, but he's going to make your parents pay for an industrial stone cleaner. <laughs> it was worth it. Can you smell bleach? What are you watching? Then I think there's been a big bomb. Really? Oh, it's one of those recreations of a dirty bomb. What's a dirty bomb? Well, it's just a big nuclear bomb that terrorists would use to kill everyone in London. Have you been drinking spirits? Sorry, don't know what I was thinking. Would you like some? I'll stick to wine, thanks. Wine is for girls. I am a girl. This is a man's drink. If you don't want it, I'll have it. And if you can't take me like this, well, I'm sorry, babes. But this is the package. He's barfing. I'm caught it right now. Oh, mm -hmm. gosh. There goes the tallest building in London. That'll be a few thousand dead. My mum and dad are in London tonight. Would they be killed? Oh, yes. Not only killed, but <laughs> obliterated. Nearly a scorched shadow on the pavement. Dust. So they are dead forever. Yep, dead forever. My mummy! My daddy! No. Mummy! Mummy! Come on, Carly. You know why I'm here. And I know why I'm here. I'm just waiting for you to barf. And you know why I'm here. Do you? Kiss me. Simon, you know I've got a boyfriend. Just finger yourself in front of me. Jesus, Simon! <laughs> Do it in Caravan Club. Come on. I know you want to. Well, I don't want to, so. Yeah, you do. You. Simon, oh, are you alright? Here it comes. Yeah. Oh, you hold it back. Oh, God. Oh, Christ. I don't think I'm very well. Chris? Look, I'm really sorry. I was just telling about terrorists and stuff. You were telling us <laughs> about terrorists? You won't see for a week now, you idiot. Oh, terrorists. You haven't got the sink yet? All the lumps? I'm really sorry. I think maybe I ate something. Could we maybe sit down and talk about us? And have you got any neurofen? It's just like. <laughs> oh, dear. I think we'll be off now. Yeah. Right, I think we better get you back to mine and cleaned up. <laughs> oh, God, my head! I've ruined it. You think? I love her and I've ruined it with her. Oh, really? You God. think so? Oh, she's so amazing. I'm going to say this to you as a friend. Shut up. Today has been a fuck up from start to finish. We need to write it off. Okay? Today's gone. Yeah. It's not going to get any worse. It's bound to get worse. Why would you say that? Isn't that your mum's car? Yeah, it sure yeah. is. 
And that's Neil's dad's car. Oh shit. Oh shit. Well, it's every Wednesday and we play a sort of, I suppose, it's a best of three games. And right. the changing facilities, not too bad. So yeah, in yeah. In all, it's, uh, it's, it's a, a good thing. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna get worse. Right. Sit down, you two. Sometimes in life, you have to sit down, take your punishment like a man. Unfortunately, this was not one of those times. What? Well, you've had quite a day off. You've lied to your mothers, bought alcohol illegally, abused Neil's dad, stole my suit, defaced the pavement outside Carly's. Am I missing anything? We also hit a spastic with a frisbee. I feel totally let down, William. It wasn't our fault, Mum. And what you said to Kevin here? I thought I brought you up better than that. It isn't our fault. Why is it not your fault, then? It all happened because he touched us. What? <laughs> no. He touched us here. And here. And here. The bum hole. You evil little shits. I'll deal with this, Kevin. Now, listen to me, you two. That is an extraordinary <laughs> allegation. And you should think very carefully before you repeat it. Just because Kevin's gay doesn't mean he goes... Wait, no, I'm not gay. It's all right, Kevin. We're all friends. doesn't matter. No, but uh, I'm not gay. I was married for nearly... Oscar Wilde was married. That is enough, William. <laughs> Clay well, was right, married. Kevin, and obviously, it's fine. Well, no, no, I'm not gay. Oh, like, Liberace was married. Just because married. Kevin is gay doesn't make him automatically a paedophile. I'm not a paedophile. So if you want to repeat those allegations, then we'll take them seriously. But if you want to tell us the truth that it never happened, we'll move on to the other things you're in trouble for. OK. The truth is... We're alcoholics. You have to help us. All we can think about is where the next drink is going to come from. <laughs> We're literally out of control. Today we even talked about heroin. Actually, this might work. A long road this might us. work. With your support. It might work. And your love. We think we can make it. So please. Kind of working. As our parents. Help no. us. No. No. Yes. <laughs> and so we were so pathetic even my mum who has no sense of humor was laughing at us that's a rip hello you look well thanks how's your mum not happy but fit like a prostitute how's your dad <laughs> really not happy but at least he's not bent like neil's what shit son you don't look well mate what happened? He was up all night fucking Carly's brains out. Huh. Not quite. Obviously by not quite he means he puked on her brother's head, then went home and accused Neil's dad of being a paedophile. You dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> what a knob. Oh, my dad's not a pedo. <laughs> yeah, boys. Good of you to join us today. Oh, shit. Shit indeed. Now, boys, you are in the sixth form. So actually you're under no legal obligation to attend school. Sutherland, Cartwright, if you want to piss away your chance of gaining some qualifications and improving your lives, then be my guest. I still get paid at the end of the week. Really? Oh, great. Brilliant. Thanks, sir. I knew no day could go as badly as yesterday did. However, Cooper, Mackenzie, phoning the school and pretending to be your parents. Oh, that, oh. my little friends, is fraud. I think we better go and see the head. Well... They say it's the things you don't do in life that you regret. Well, that's clearly not true. Yeah. I regret hitting that girl with a frisbee. You should. Oh. And I regret hurling insults at Neil's dad. Bummed up. That was pretty I'm funny, pretty though. I'm certain that Simon regrets almost everything he did that day. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much everything. Oh, dear. But they also say, all's well that ends well. Hang on. This didn't even end well. Yeah, it didn't. No. Didn't end well at all. All right. Well, that's going to do it for that. <laughs> I swear that show it's it's cringe but it's like it's the best kind of cringe cuz it's like it's real life cringe you know it, it's the kind of cringe that could actually happen to you it's not just like random out of the ballpark cringe it's cringe that it has actually happened and it has actually happened to people and can't actually happen to you it might have happened to you you know just where am i going with this just you know relatable shit i guess is i i was trying to avoid saying that but i guess it's technically true you know it's just relatable cringe, basically. It's relatable cringe. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Well, 
that's gonna do it for that. If you want me to do another episode of this, fuck it, why not? I'll do third episode. But that is gonna do it, you guys, for this episode of The Inbetweeners. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, you can be sure to press the like button. If you didn't like it, that's okay. Not everybody's gonna like everything. You can press the like button if you want to. But if you don't think I'm gonna pass from the ground for a while, going to the future on the channel, be sure to press the subscribe button. If you want to see what's gonna be posted daily on the channel, you can check the link in the description for the blog on Bros.com. If you want to check out my Twitch where I stream every single day, link that's also in the description as well as to my Twitter and my Patreon. If you want to support me, and be sure to follow me right here on Vimeo for more reactions to in-betweeners and anything else that gets blocked on YouTube. But with that being said, my name is Stafford Steen. This has been my reaction to the in-betweeners number two. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.